Ty the Vault Dweller here coming to you with another video of Fallout 4. Also coming to you with a very tired video. So if it sounds like I'm not making sense, it's because I'm really tired because I've been up since 5 a.m. So I had to go to work this morning. So enough chit chat. Let's get our house built. As you can see, I did add a wall here. Kind of divide off her bedroom from the rest of this place, so thought that would look good. Can we lay down flooring in here? I think we can. I'm not hundred percent sure if we can. Oh, we can. It just kind of seeps outside of the walls. Now yeah, we'll keep the train flooring. Just to keep the aesthetic. And a cat decided to join me today in my video. Her name's Tanker. She's a tortie or a tortoise shell. Colored cat. But she's walking all over my desk watching me. Wonder what I'm doing. If you can slightly hear purring, that's what who's doing that purring. It's a very sweet cat, though. <laughs> yeah, she wants attention. She's like just sitting up here, like wondering why I'm not giving her any attention. So again, we're going to use the Sanctuary Kitchen Set, just because the Sanctuary Kitchen Set works. Still wants to snap it in there. What we could do. He does not have any there. <laughs> yeah, she wants a lot of attention. She's literally standing right in front of my mic. Yeah, it's okay, eh, Miss Tanker. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's just. She's a very, uh, she really thrives on attention. I don't know if it's just a tortoise shell cat thing or what, but she loves attention. Could be doing something. And she just does not care. Oh, 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 don't be knocking the lamp off, tanker. <laughs> I kind of like doing these sanctuary house set kitchens because it fits with the lore because you know everything's about the lore oh the lore so it does kind of fit the lore of the game Still sitting on the desk demanding attention. I will say Tanker is a very sweet girl. Sweet girl that thrives on attention. The heck is this? Witchy cooking station. Okay. 
I did see one comment about place everywhere. I don't use place everywhere. I do everything by either um, rug glitches or what's the other one? Pillar glitches. So yeah, I don't really use place anywhere or everywhere. I do on the Xbox, but that's the console version. No, no. Man, this cat's a little shit disturber. You do one little thing and she's like, she thinks it's okay to knock stuff off. You know, I said, oh, we don't have any cats that don't knock stuff off tables. It's nice. But now Tanker's like, yeah, I'm going to knock stuff off on you. Distract you. Now she's walking right in front of me again. actually thinking of doing with this place is making it a screened in porch because I think we can still con oh no we can't continue this that's right we could add something like this though to it just to kind of extend it This can kind of be like the kitchen and eating area. So we're not, we don't have floating structures here. Well, this went from a normal looking upper deck to a covered deck. be paying me there. Now we gotta put some power to this place. I kinda don't wanna do that. Also that, then there's mods. And we don't have the fancy lights yet. I like the fancy floor lamps because we haven't been out in the wasteland yet. Which I think we're going to do in the next video. So we're going to go out and explore the wasteland. So I think what we'll do for now is we'll just do a light bulb. Or we could even do... Seriously, do, do you really have to go everywhere I'm working, Cosworth? 
I stopped using you as a companion because you were... You just kept going everywhere I didn't want you to go. I'll put a nice little table up here. I actually just ordered a charcoal grill too from uh, Amazon. It's one of those barrel style. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to put the kitchen up here. It's going to be like the kitchen area. Doesn't need to be a very big kitchen, just needs to be a decent enough kitchen. Zeus says that you can't have your kitchen outside in the wasteland. And I think I know the piece to use. It's from GM2 Workshop. imagine actually getting this fridge up these stairs you know when I'm building doing these builds I'm just thinking of how unrealistic it would actually be for the character to try and get some of these items that you're facing up the stairs I guess one thing if it's just like this barbecue or a table or maybe a small kitchen cabinet but a full refrigerator like Come on, you gotta admit that refrigerator would be way heavier than what it would look like. And I can tell you the Soul Survivor would not be prone to helping a load of refrigerator up there. Like first you'd have to try and get it up these stairs or try getting it through here and then up one more flight of stairs. But I kind of want to do it like this because you know, all the houses don't have to look the same, so why not spend a little extra time and, and, uh, I'm shooting a blank here, and build something completely different. should have uh, support there. No, it just doesn't feel like it's very light on the supports. section I like a couple random chairs
Anna Hargraves, I think that's her name. The lady I'm building oh, this place for. the buffet table where she keeps extra plates and stuff but I think this is kind of a cool little cooking area I'm really thinking about maybe in the future purchasing an Elgato and showing you some of my builds on my Xbox because that's actually what inspired these builds, is my builds from my Xbox and previous accounts. Like a little thing of food down the bottom of her stairwell. Just gonna make something with those gourds. This is kind of fun to use cabinetry like this as if they uh, were trying to like figure out a way to figure out a way to um, make stuff to store stuff onto. like crazy amounts of stuff to it but I'm gonna make good looking make it really good looks pretty good kind of basic but good <laughs> life's a cats you know this isn't something she would probably have I'm gonna kind of keep keep it good oh yeah these curtains
Gotta put the couch at an angle. So we wouldn't have been able to fit a uh, on a sharp angle, but Decker still proceeds to sit here, demanding attention. So if a cat wants attention, they will just keep bugging and bugging and bugging until they get what they want. You know, and they can't really say no to her. She is a sweet girl. And she swapped her tail around. Being at a hard grave, she would definitely have a bunch of shoes. some books. some wines and stuff to make some cocktails and whatnot and or drinks to make cocktails and wines to drink because she seems like she would drink but she would only drink on like an occasion and Hannah Gar Hargraves doesn't catch me as like a I don't know it would almost say that she doesn't have like a whole lot of character to her she's kind of just bland it's like dull as dishwater type of land. Definitely gonna put that up there. But and she does smoke so we can't really put no smoking around here. Okay, really Codsworth? Had to do this to me. Fine. I think he's actually stuck in there. Oh yeah, I built this, but for some reason Marcy's not going to it. You know, because after she made that comment last night, thought she deserved a punishment. Maybe she'll go to it now if it's there. But I have a feeling she won't. I know, I'm just very tired today. Holy crap. So happens when you get up at like 5 in the morning. And you stay up till like 11 at night. Kind of just wears on you. I'm going to close that door. But yeah, I'm thinking about getting an Elgato. I just got the Xbox Series X traded in my Series S for the Series X and I'd occasionally love to do some videos of just uh, strictly recording or do some videos for Connex but uh, we can't do two super duper Mart ones in there let's put a Vim one in there I need Cola since Nick Cola makes the most sense I like putting those magazines around just because it makes it look more lived in. 
and since uh, or there could just be a guy who vandalizes people's property by throwing old mag old posters see there I go I just call them magazines but they're really their posters old posters around to show how tired I am <laughs> but the contents for you guys oh yeah I wouldn't see her having heads of dead place sand creatures in there she doesn't seem like that type of person right, did Marcy go in there now oh, of course she did not the heck is she? What's in here, Marcy? Wherever you're hiding in this bar. Because I'm actually going to tell you all this inspiration comes from my builds on the Xbox. Everything you see here I built on the Xbox. Over the years. Pretty much I'm building like a little bit of everything that I built over the years playing Fallout 4. And this is the first year where I actually start recording my builds. And I'm like, what, eight years late to do this? Eight years late to the party? I can see I have a picture of cats. Because, I mean, who doesn't like cats? See a cat sitting right next to me, hey, Tanker? The reason why we call her Tanker is because she's, uh, large and in charge and she's built like a tank I like these banners. Pretty cool. Okay, let's get the bed put down. Small probably is not gonna be a really long video. Just because I hit a blank on what I should build next. So I don't really want to give her a super fancy bed. But I want to at least get her something comfortable. I'm pretty sure this is comfortable compared to whatever she's sleeping on in that radio studio. I really dig these hanging lanterns. I think I put one next to there is a good idea. I 
Like I like doing a mix of hanging lanterns and uh, lamp posts throughout the settlement. Kind of gives it a cooler aesthetic, I guess. But I don't think we're going to over decorate just because we don't have the room right now to do that. Like I said, there'll be a future build where we do more. Or maybe we may even jump to Xbox and... And, uh... Play on Xbox a little bit here and there. I think we'll just call it for now for their her house. Just because I'm like so tired and I'm like even just falling asleep trying to do this video. And we'll do another actually no we'll do metal door. Just thinking how wonderful it'd be to get out of this infernal rain. What infernal rain are you out in? That looks pretty good. We know we really can't use the radios. Excuse me. At least I got a cat to keep me company. What you doing sniffing the microphone tanker? Maybe I'll post a picture of her on uh, YouTube. It's a very sweet kitty. She's probably telling me, go to bed. You've been up since five, you need to go to bed. Trust me, tanker, I need to go to bed. So since this was a really short video and I apologize, it's just I'm really tired, so <laughs> the video today tonight won't be as great as last night's or yesterday's video, but I'll definitely get you something better on the next round. But I do hope you enjoyed that little decoration of our house. Maybe in the next video we can start building these places up. Because actually I have some ideas, but I'm going to pitch them out there right now, since we do have a little bit of time to talk about this, about how we should, what we should do when we build the gun shop in the general store. So for the general store, for the gun shop, I was actually thinking about turning this upper part into a house. For the owners because it's going to be two brothers so i thought that would make sense to turn the gun shops top part into a living quarters in the general store i thought about expanding into this area <laughs> and Turning this into like a little mini house for a general store owner. This guy likes like, like uh, Diamond City has, where they where they um, have the owners have their houses like behind their shops. That's why I built this for 
what's her name? Anna Hargraves. So, in a way, it would make sense to have the home, the owners homes nearby for these guys just due to the fact that we're only building in half a sanctuary so we're gonna literally have to squeeze squeeze everything in this part of sanctuary because that's the one thing I did say we were not gonna use all the sanctuary we're only gonna use part of sanctuary I know we do have all of this area out here to build in which we're going to but I want you guys in the comments to let me know because we already kind of have an idea about him and uh, their business but what about the, green, the general store owner should I build this house next to his business or should I build this house in Sanctuary Hills dang I got myself stuck in Sanctuary Hills to where he can conduct his business but his house is nearby if that makes any sense which it probably doesn't so I'll let you guys decide where the general store owner is gonna live is he gonna live near his business or is he gonna live somewhere else in Sanctuary I'll let you guys pick his fate and if you're wondering who the general store owner is going to be, I think it's pretty obvious who it's going to be, so. I'm pretty sure you can put two and two together to know who's going to be. Because he uh, sold us a place in the vault 200 years ago, so. It would be wrong not to give him a proper home. So I'll let you know down. I'll uh, want your opinions down in the comments. Because I think these are going to be the next two buildings we work on. But I want your opinions on what we should do for the general store owner. And how we can make these look even more fancier and less bland looking. Like I'm really happy with how this turned out. So yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry for the very slow, dull video because I'm really tired, so I'll get this video edited and ready to go so it will pop up tomorrow. So, thank you. Remember to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully by then we'll have an answer on uh, how we should make these buildings look a little more fancy and a little less uh, dull looking. Because they don't look bad, but I think they could look even better than this. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments what could be done to make these buildings even more better. Other than that, have a great day or night wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.